Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and you can find me here on YouTube, Instagram, and on TikTok as Knit Plan Jess. For my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. I just really appreciate that you guys are here. Um, so this video is starting with <laughs> my face because it's something that's very personal to me and I want to just kind of go ahead and share with you some things that have been going on um just kind of look back up a little bit i have been on youtube since 2021 and my goal has always been between five to seven videos usually more on the seven end but it's always been to be consistent same time posting every single day you know my daily videos my bujo my social media bujo i like to post those usually always on the same day and I feel like 2023 has had a lot of inconsistencies for me. Um, and I think it's because my mental health is in a, a huge decline right now. So that's basically what today's video is about is going to be the kickoff to my mental health journey as I take the necessary steps to make sure that I am working towards a healthy mental health, a positive mental health. Um, so I've always been a mental health advocate. And, you know, I kind of figure if I'm trying to support people, and if I'm trying to end the stigma, um, you know, that people feel like they can't talk about their mental health. And I kind of feel like I have to be open about it as well. And I have to make sure that I'm advocating for my positive mental health too. So I have decided to get into therapy and start behavioral coaching. The behavioral coaching is like a 90 day journey. The therapy is going to be much more ongoing, but I'm really excited about it because they're going to, you know, heal from anything that maybe I need to heal from or kind of figure out why I am one of the millions of people who suffers from depression and anxiety. I mean, I, it's nothing bad. It's nothing to hide about, but I just, I'm one of those millions. Um, and also learn like coping skills. So then that way on the days that are more difficult days, I can be able to have the skills that I need to help myself function through them better. So I decided to put together a planner. <laughs> I'm going to be using one of the 18 month planners and I'm going to be redating it to start um, technically mid-April, but I'm start, and starting in April. So today's video is basically kicking it off with how I'm going to be setting this up. And we're going to be redating April and just kind of talk about how I'm going to be using this. And I can't, I can't wait. I just, I'm excited about this because I want to do monthly reflections. You know, I want to I really want to talk about my journey and I want to be open about my journey. So on that note, for anybody who wants to reach out to me and, you know, talk more about your mental health journey, or if you have any tips or advice, I'm always open to that. You can drop me a comment below. You can go to my Instagram DMs, send me a message and just know that if you are someone who maybe needs support yourself or you need somebody that you can talk to, I am always an open door. So please don't be afraid to reach out to me because if I'm going to advocate for my mental health, I want to advocate for yours too. So on that note, let's jump into this video and set up my new mental health, healthy habits planner. So this video, we're going to be taking the 18 month modern months planner. This is a checklist layout and I'm really excited to use it. So this is what the layout look looks like. It is super neutral. It has a grid at the top, checklist in the middle, and then blank at the bottom. It has a graph on the side and then like a note lined on the side as well. 
really, really love this layout. And I figured that this would be really, really good to kind of help me, um, you know, take notes, put reminders for what I want, for what I want to really be focusing on that day in terms of like healthy habits and my mental health. And then obviously appointments and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting this up for part of April and then also for May, June, and then we'll just kick it right over into July for 2023. So I am going to be taking a few months from 2024 to set it up so that way I can use it before July starts. Um, so this planner is available at Joann's. It's part of the Happy Planner Spring Release. I'm going to be using the Essential Dates and Numbers sticker to redate it up because this one has these in it and I, I love this. So I'll be able to use like this one, I'll be able to use April, May, and June. Um, I think for now, what I might be doing is I might just go ahead and set up April. Um, like I'll go, I'll kind of go ahead and set up April, May, and June, but I'm only going to be redating April because then the rest of it, um, like I might do like reflection video sort of thing and I can get the next month redated up during that video. So for now, we're going to take out April, May, and June. And these are just going to be moved to the front of the planner. Um, I don't normally like to read data planners. Um, a lot of it is because like, I always feel really, really guilty because if I'm taking a portion of 2024, then it's kind of like a good indication that I most likely am not going to be using those months in 2024. Um, so I kind of think what I, what I would like to do with this planner is I would like to essentially use it for April through December. Um, and I'm only going to be doing it like half of April anyways, because it is, it is April the 15th. <laughs> so we, we are, we are halfway into, into April anyways. Um, so yeah, so my, my plan is, uh, is essentially going to be to use this for April through December. And then, um, if I like the checklist layout, then I will continue that for 2024 but if I don't like the checklist layout maybe I can do a different layout but I I do want something that has each day as a lot of space for it so I don't like to think that the dashboard would work I don't think that the um, monthly layout would, would work maybe like the line vertical or um yeah, I don't know. Maybe a horizontal would work, but yeah, but it, it needs to have like a lot of focus on each day. So I've gone ahead and moved April, May, and June. So then that way it just goes straight into April, May, June, and then July through whatever. Um, but now what we're going to do while I kind of talk is when I'm going to go ahead and basically set it up as cleanly as possible. So I'm actually going to take out this page right here, which has the 4th through the 7th and the 8th through the 10th, just because I don't need it. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Dots Adhesive, and I'm going to glue these two pages together. So then that way, when I turn the calendar, it will go from the calendar and start with mid-April. <laughs> And I will, I will be redating up all of the dates as well. Um, Duke has kind of taken up my space. <laughs> so um, as I hope to mention, or as I mentioned in my, my intro, um, a huge reason why I'm doing this is because I have made the decision to start with um, some behavioral coaching and put myself into therapy. Um, I have had mental health struggles for essentially my entire life. It's kind of, kind of what, what, what I feel like. It's, um, you know, I don't like, as of right now, I don't remember necessarily a lot of trauma 
um, growing up, I honestly think that for me, it's just been kind of like a brain thing, you know, where maybe my brain is not, maybe there's like a chemical imbalance in my brain thing, sort of, sort of situation, but I've, I've definitely dealt with depression and anxiety and, um, I've have found ways to manage it myself, but I have definitely noticed that I'm really struggling with me, with, with managing it. And I, I kind of got to the point where I need to find other, I need to find other ways. I need to get help with managing it because this is not something that people should probably be managing on their own. You know, I mean, I, I hear from people that even therapists see, or yeah, even therapists see therapists and even psychiatrists see their own, their own psychiatrists, like they see a psychiatrist. And it's just, this is not something that I should be, that I should be trying to man, to manage on my own. So that's a huge reason for this. Um, so the day that I'm recording this, it is Sunday the 15th. I actually um, have gone ahead and I've had my first coaching session. The coaching session is through Ginger, which um, is they do like behavioral health coaching and mental health coaching. Um, and essentially they will kind of help me you know, learn how to develop, you know, kind of like action plans for goals that I want to achieve and kind of help me find, you know, with activities that will help me, um, be able to learn how to manage my mental health while, you know, while I, I kind of work through the plans and the goals that I have. So I'm really excited about it. Um, and I think it's, I think I'm so excited about it because I finally feel like I'm at the point in my life that I am ready to put myself into therapy. And I will say a lot of that is because of the fact that I have so many friends who, you know, who have, have encouraged me because they know how they how helpful that therapy has been for them. Oh, by the way, it is the 16th. It is not the 15th. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It is the six, it is the uh, 16th. Let me go back here. <laughs> I'm like, I have to figure out how I'm going to fix this now. Um, but yeah, so I have friends who do therapy themselves and, you know, they're, they're very encouraging. They're, you know, very much so like, you know, this is definitely something that we, that they think would be really beneficial for me. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to use this Saturday as the one and the eighth, mainly because of the fact that I, I want to, well, no, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to keep it just like any other calendar where the 23rd is going to be the 23rd and the 30th. Um, I do have a coaching on the 30th. But like, I just reached out to my primary, my primary care provider today to let her know that, Hey, this is, you know, I've been struggling with this. I would like to get a referral to start seeing a therapist. Um, and kind of my idea with this, this planner is going to be, um, using it to track the healthy habits that I'm doing each day and healthy habits is something that I essentially started up, um, the beginning of April where I have kind of decided which activities bring me joy and happiness. Like what activities do I do each day that are a healthy habit. So it's something that I do because it makes me happy. It helps relax me. It helps distress me. Um, so one of them is knitting. So, you know, I may list and just kind of check off that I took time to knit today, that sort of thing. Um, another healthy habit has been keeping up with my planners every single day. So, um, 
Oops, sorry, Duke. <laughs> I scared him. So yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited because I think that this planner is going to be really good for me. And sorry, you guys cannot see what I'm doing by numbering because Duke decided to get in the way. Um, but then I'm also going to use this to kind of maybe write down um, like some notes of how, like, especially if I have like a therapy or if I have a coaching coming up and there's definitely something that I want to make sure to, to kind of bring up to them. Um, I can be able to use this to write notes about that, obviously track appointments, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to, oh, and I really like this essential dates book because of the fact that it has like the whole monthly page. Um, I, I may not necessarily use like the colors, um, for decorating the monthly, but I love the fact that it includes the perfectly sized numbers for not only the monthly, but it also includes them for the weeks as well. And I actually wish that I had started this, this up at the beginning of, of April because I hate the fact that I'm going to only be using like half of these numbers. All right, so I have a broken box in my room and Duke is currently climbing into it so he can sit in the box and it's like, dude, there's nowhere for you to sit in that box. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so funny. And when there is a perfectly good chewy box sitting out in the living room that he could be sitting in because we can make up my chewy order today. So I use chewy for basically like all food and cat litter because it really is like the, like the cheapest <laughs> and the easiest way for me to get food and cat litter. And so there's like this brand new chewy box out there and he's just like, I don't care. I'm going to go into this box that is torn. I truly have the weirdest cat. I also, okay, so I, I was looking at this planner and I was trying to figure out why if like for 2023, Monday starts on the 17th, why is it starting on Wednesday the 17th? And I realized 2024 is a leap year. So 2024, we are going to have um, 29 days of February. Gosh, I kind of wish that like every single month had just 28 days and just left it at that. It's so much easier. It truly, truly is. Um, I was also flipping through this book and I'm, I, I was kind of like looking like, why don't I use these numbers for my bullet journal? Like, I feel like that would just make so much more sense than writing them down in marker so much prettier too because my handwriting is not as nice as some of these numbers so i think i might do that for starting in may maybe okay so i'm gonna go ahead and number up this one um i'm not even gonna use yeah i'm like I, so this one is gonna start at the 24th oh this one one, two, three. Yeah, I, I really like I really like April because it ends on the 30th. So it's just very clean. And then May will start on the first, but I will definitely have to renumber up May because May of 2024 does not start on the first, it starts on the third. So fun. Okay. I picking up as many of these as I can at once. Now, I don't know if, if I'm necessarily going to be decorating this beforehand. I think I'm going to take next week to kind of see how it goes and how I use it. But at least this way, I will have April set up and then I can kind of figure out when do I want to set May up and when do I want to do a reflection. Um, cause I'm still going to be keeping like my journal for just daily journaling. Um, but I definitely want to do like some kind of reflection in this. And I was almost thinking of using the currently 
and I don't really use the currently in my other planner. So I don't really even use like the monthly in my other planner. So this is going to be really different for me to actually be using the currently page and using the calendar because I definitely want to use the calendar for kind of tracking appointments, even if that's all that I use it for. That's perfectly fine. Um, I could also use it for kind of like a mood board, um, you know, kind of maybe put like my mood in there. And I, I kind of like that idea now. Oh, and what else I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to March of 2024 because, whoops, I'm like, here we go. This is what I want. I'm going to take this page. Um, it is taking it from part of March, but again, if I'm not using, if I'm using something different in 2024, it's not, it's not a big deal. I'm actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm feeling very indecisive, as you guys can probably tell. We are going to put this back because I am going to just simply take this and wipe this out. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. I need that for July. No, I don't because I'm going to be whiting this out. I'm going to wipe this out. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to use a different dates and holiday book. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to take from one of the OG dates and holidays. I am going to take it and we're going to use um, from this page, a 2023 sticker. I'm basically putting together 20 and 23 for this because it works well. It works, it, that would work like very, very well. And I'm looking for I guess I could just use one of these. It's not like, obviously it's not the exact same font, but that's okay. I don't think, I don't know if there's really, I could use that, but no, we're just, we're just going to use this April. And then I'm going to take this 20 and 23 and look, <laughs> it looks so funky but it works all right now i think that that's all that we're gonna do because i need to figure out yeah i need to figure out if i'm going to kind of like plan this as i go if i'm gonna decorate it but i have a new planner set up and i cannot wait to take you guys on this journey with me um and what i would like to know is um, if for those who may go to therapy yourself or you do any type of life coaching or behavioral health coaching or mental health coaching or anything like that, um, what are ways that you have found to help you kind of manage or cope when you are having depression or anxiety challenges? Drop them in the comments. I would love to hear them. Um, because I love to hear kind of like what other people do to help manage your mental health. And I would really love if you guys would want to share these with me on my journey. So drop them in the comment. I can't wait to share this journey with you guys. And, you know, hopefully it will, you know, kind of inspire somebody who may be struggling with their own mental health for you to get the help that you need to be happy and healthy. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you on my next video. But if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, thank you guys for all your support. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.